Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and I have a vlog today and it's going to be chatting. I'm not planning to do any art. I've got about actually less than an hour of free time. Today's Friday. Finally, I have been able to update my computer and I just wanted to show you my new um, macbook pro and i am loving it because the other one used to get overheated a lot and this one i notice has these grooves here and i think they're for ventilation i have already edited one video and it was so easy it was incredible the computer that i had before was it's now obsolete so i couldn't do any more system upgrades and apple has been really really helpful throughout the years when it started to become quite old yet i wasn't ready to move on to a new computer obviously these are you know quite an investment so i really wanted to make sure i use my old computer to the last day possible and so it happened actually i bought this computer end of last year and it just sat there. I didn't have time or motivation to transfer everything over to the new computer. So, but my Shopify website stopped working on the previous computer because it was so old. It needed a system upgrade, which I couldn't do anymore. So, you know, thank goodness I had this computer sitting there so I could just move on to it. Yeah, it was a, actually a very simple process. I'm someone who has some knowledge in IT and I even done a course on coding like a website and all of that, but it's not my favorite thing to do. I can do certain things myself, but I'd rather not. If I had some help, I would ask someone else to do it. So just wanted to let you know that editing of my videos has become a lot more pleasurable. It's a lot smoother. It runs really fast compared to the other one. The other one was glitching and it was kind of freezing and it was really frustrating to edit videos and uh, YouTube content on that computer. So I'm very happy with the upgrade. And the other thing is I'm just getting used to the mouse area. I mean, it's bigger and it seems to be slightly different to the one I had before. With the previous one, it just was sort of one click. And here there is a multitude of clicks basically there's like a light click and then the other one and it took me a while to figure out why it's not working with the first click so yeah a couple of things are obviously slightly different and I just need to get used to it because I had the other computer for I'd say nine years now yeah 2015 I purchased it and a lift to 2024 so it's i think it's incredible really good so that's a good good bit of news oh and the other thing so once you added the video the saving of it on my previous computer would take as long as the actual video sometimes even longer so for example if it's 24 minute long video then it would take about 24 minutes or longer to save that video here it's literally just minutes and I just couldn't believe it. It was so quick, so fast. I think it was four minutes for a 24 minute video. And that saves me a lot of time because I can move on to editing another video. So sometimes if I have a, a number of different videos, for example, if I am preparing for a half term and I pre-record some videos, I need to edit them one after the other. And having that long time to wait for the saving meant that if I did, for example, three videos in one sitting, that would be already like hour and a half almost of just waiting around. So that cuts down the time, it makes everything faster and smoother. So yeah, I just need to learn uh, certain new updates as well, which are quite fun. Okay, let's talk briefly about my hair. I am super happy with it. I went back to my Ukrainian colorist and she's just so talented. For a while, I stopped getting my hair done with her because of the salon she was working in. It was um, a little bit run down. It needed some refurbishments and the guy who was running it, he was just 
an old guy who was constantly smoking weed and you can just smell it and it was horrendous i mean i am not into that this is my time my luxury time of relaxing being pampered having my hair done which happens so rarely every three months or you know yeah if i'm doing that a few times a year i want to have a really nice time there so i stopped going there purely for that and then i ended up going to scrubs which is uh, the in my view i thought it's like one of the best hair salons in cambridge but unfortunately they just have this system where the more clients they do then the more obviously money the salon makes but at the same time i wouldn't say that necessarily the the stylists or the colorists are that talented or even that good so with the girl that i've been now she was kind of trying to understand what i wanted and it took her i think i went to see her three or four times within a couple of months and that was half the time was just correcting what she's done before so when i went to see her i pretty much had this and really grown out roots so i wanted to maintain this beautiful lightness i mean it's very damaging to hair to get to this lovely clean beautiful blonde so once you get there you want to do everything you can to maintain it so because it was kind of winter time during winter i don't mind going slightly more mellow rather than quite bright for this time of the year spring summer i love to be like super blonde the blonder the better but then going into autumn winter slightly more neutral slightly more uh, is okay i thought let's put some uh, kind of like honey or caramel into it but maintaining about 80 to 90 percent of the lightness and just have a few kind of low lights of that honey or caramel tone in there so in the end what she's done is she went down probably two or three tones all over my head gave me like a ginger look all over and in one sitting i got out and i looked i kid you not i looked about 10 years older i had this typical mum look just really boring hair it didn't suit me maybe on someone else it would look lovely but you have to look at the client and I kept saying to her make sure it works with my complexion my skin color obviously eye color and everything and it was so depressing <laughs> once she washed it off and styled it I look in the mirror and I was like who is this person <laughs> who is this person um yeah and then I had to wait so this was um after Christmas I think maybe before Christmas and then they were shut. So the first day she could see me was 2nd of January. So I was back there. She then tried to lift all of that darkness off, which is obviously a very damaging shampoo kind of clearing thing that they need to do. To be fair, she managed to lift maybe one tone and get it slightly lighter. But of course, once you put that darkness over this beautiful lightness, there is no way of lifting it back to how it was or at least like very close to that there's just no way so then i saw her another time the last time was basically yeah i was just saying i need some lightness and then i said i need like a half head and what she's done is she's literally just done this area here and just contouring over here so when you would lift say for example when you would lift this area all of that up to here was complete black like dark hair and then same thing here all of this was all black and then i don't know if you noticed but in some of the videos now of course you don't see yourself from behind unless you're doing a vlog video editing so uh i noticed <laughs> when i was like showing you products or leaning back um literally i had like a whole bunch of black in the back and it just looked horrendous so from the behind you look like one color and then you turn your head and you look completely different so it just was horrendous and every time she would say well i think i'm getting there i think what you want i can do next time i think i know what you want and it just it just really started irritating me because i thought well i'm not your guinea pig you know this hair that i came to you you just need to maintain it and do slight change to it not such a drastic that you make someone look worse than they did before and the makeup that I had before 
didn't work with that hair because it was a lot darker so I had to put different colors it took me ages to kind of try to figure out how to do things like with this hair I can wear a nude lip I can wear a red lip I can do all sorts of things and everything looks really contemporary and I feel young and I feel fresh and this is what we want this is exactly what we want and my like almost my skin looks I don't know if it looks like that to you but when I look in the mirror it looks like I had some sort of lifting or my skin looks like it went through some sort of beauty procedure it looks just more kind of glowy and my eyes popping out more and that is all purely because of the right tone and the very very talented colorist so I went back to well I went back before I went back I thought let me just message my Ukrainian lady and I asked her do you still work there and she said no I left and I was like you left you left you left so I went to see her in a new salon and Oh, I was just so happy. I was just so happy. I mean, it's quite a big change going so, so blonde, but I love it. Makeup, no makeup. Every time I pass through a window, window, mirror, <laughs> I always like what I see, like the reflection I check. And with the previous hair, I noticed I stopped looking into mirrors when I walked past them, like in my house or something. I just did not like what I saw. It made me look tired. Like I was, con I feel constantly tired, but it made me look what I felt. Like, you know, sometimes with makeup, you can get away with making yourself look healthier or relaxed so yeah that is the hair update and I actually shot a little vlog about it but then I decided you know I was talking for 15 minutes about my hair and I thought I'll just leave it but I was showing you like all the darkness and everything so but I can show you the good stuff now where basically I can go back now to doing all sorts of hairstyles I love these kind of where you just put the hair up um, that way and have this hair loose or I like the top bands I like all sorts of different hairstyles with the Alice bands as well so I do like to change things up and with the previous hair I couldn't do it because as soon as I would lift anything it just made me look quite aged and it just was not flattering at all so enough about hair uh, let's shift the gears a little bit and talk about a little bit of kind of fun shopping I haven't done fun type of art supplies or craft supplies or any type of shopping for a very long time I have been um, kind of just not shopping really and so this time I thought I'll go into the tiger shop yesterday in fact after the hairdressers I popped I kind of was in a good mood so popped into that shop and I thought you know what I'll just treat myself to a few things and predominantly my son <laughs> as you'll see there's a lot of things for him and I just thought I'll share some of those goodies some of you might find them interesting or useful and yeah let's uh, unpack or well, actually I'll show you the back contents now probably easier so I asked the girl for a small bag and then she really managed to package it quite well with a few things still not fitting in <laughs> so we've got another few things on the desk so I'll be taking things out but I think it's quite a cool bag and it says here things that make you smile which I thought goes well with the theme before we dive into all the goodies I just thought I'll show you this so I went to Amazon and ordered two lipsticks so the one I'm wearing today is the matte 011 and it's called untold stories it's by Revlon and it's their super lustrous line which I have to say I absolutely love these lipsticks they're so gorgeous and as far as a nude goes for a cheap or an affordable lipstick these are amazing they're my favorites but look at this one it arrived with like three different stickers and this one had stickers but they came off fairly easily and they didn't leave that much sticky at all actually where this one I can't even get inside the lipstick and it had the most horrendous stickers which I can't fully remove yeah I did chip my nail polish here trying to get into the lipstick and by the time I get into this I won't be able to use it like it's just completely unusable it will be sticky all over the place and it's just horrendous so it's like I don't know what an idiot decided it was okay to do this to a lipstick and who on earth would want to use it but it's a 016 and the color is candy addict i really want to open it up if i can get into it but i'll have to contact amazon just to show you the color 
it's just the weirdest thing ever yeah i mean even this sticker is just not coming off oh god the color is good yeah it's a lovely pink but it's unusable at this point so i'll have to <laughs> let them know that i'd like a refund please okay before we continue if you wonder what i'm wearing on my nails because they're quite a great chartreuse you know how much i love chartreuse so this is by my mood i bought it here in uk in boots the color is called overdressed i'm not sure how good it is for your nails as in some of those more cheaper nail polishes tend to be more damaging because of the cheaper ingredients but once in a while it's such a fun color to wear like during spring or summer month especially if you go somewhere to the beach or something so i thought i'll just share that one with you okay enough about beauty products let's start with fashion <laughs> no i'm kidding so this product here although i typically don't use one but i thought it would be a great little strap for my glasses i do wear glasses a lot and i don't tend to take them off that often however sometimes when i look down they can slide a little bit and i might just have this chain or strap for safety however i will need to take my mom to this aisle because they have loads of choices and my mom is known for losing anything she can lose but particularly her glasses so i need glasses to look at the things in the distance and she needs them basically she can't see anything close to her and therefore she needs to put them on to read anything so this is such a cute one i thought i will enjoy wearing mine i think it's a cool look as well like it's just kind of has a comeback as well there is this foot i think the lady is a food critic in great british menu i'll leave her name down below she always wears straps for the glasses she has loads of them okay next thing i already had a couple of colors i hope i didn't have green i think i had a blue let me just get them out quickly so i had this turquoisey blue and this kind of neutral colors white and blacks with some gold and browns and this one is a green but it has a lot more variety here can we just stop the production of these sticky stickers can we just have some that when you lift them they don't leave a sticky residue that'd be amazing anyway so here we go we've got the greens now but here we only have like three varieties so the blues the turquoises and the whites there isn't really much going on but here every single one is different and they're different shapes obviously um sizes some of them are smaller some of them transparent and here is like the same color but and this is the same color but different sizes so larger and smaller and i think no they're different so i thought they might be the same color so these are slightly different color as well so yeah, I'm planning to do like a little embroidery. I always used to adore beads, like since I was little. So I keep them for that day when I'm ready to create something fun. Okay, so next thing, I'm not decided yet who this is for, myself or my son, but it's called Drawing Journal with drawing prompts. And does it tell you the thickness of the paper 115 gsm and it's got 80 pages so this is a fun journal it's got 160 drawing prompts and the cover is like that linen i forgot the oh jane devonport a sketchbook that reminds me of it and i don't know how good the paper is whether it would do with all sorts of different mediums or not but they do tell you drawing so i assume that means no water soluble art supplies so first one is your favorite coffee order hmm that probably would be more for me than my son the accessories you're wearing today your favorite pizza order disco your favorite music festival well i guess 
he could just sort of read and draw what comes to mind with these prompts. It doesn't have to be so exact. Secret Rose Garden, Ice Cream Galaxy. Yeah, I think Waterfall. I will give that probably to him because I keep asking him to draw something. So I think that will go to him. Next one. It's a little dish. Probably I could do without all of these things. None of them are absolutely necessary, but they are also very cute. So I love dishes, you know me. I have loads and loads of different ones and whether to keep my rings in them or little bits and pieces or use them as watercolor palette. I just love pretty things and that is why I got this one. So now let's look inside the bag. So we have got here a number of different things. So what I really like is keeping my art supplies or my products in these storage boxes and I have quite a few and they had really lovely springy color palette now so this is a bigger one and then there is also the small ones never seen the size so let's just pop one together I mean aren't these adorable okay I just had to clip them here on the corners like that and like that how cute is this? <laughs> Love the pink, the lilac and this sort of like a light green color. So I got two of those and a bigger one in the same color palette. So it's the same principle. And there you go. So there is the mama and here is the baby. I think I got them also in another color, but we'll get there. So this one might go to my husband. He has an office upstairs and uh, sometimes he has very stressful meetings and calls. So I thought I'll give him this to calm him down. <laughs> So it's a Newton's cradle and you've seen them everywhere in doctors waiting rooms and all of that especially at dentists for those nervous patients they used to have them all the time then there is a sticker book so Mason loves his stickers and I'm not gonna open it because I want him to open it and it's got loads of lovely cute ones that he can use perhaps together uh, in the sketchbook I also got him this cute round drawing stencil. I mean, he likes outlining things, so I thought you might have fun with that. Also, I got one for myself too, and they look good for, for example, watercolor swatches because they come in all these different sizes. You could do anything really, any size you want. I've got some round swatch stamps here in my color palette stamping set but you have all these sizes in between here as well so then I got Mason a larger sketchbook usually I get him the small a5 sketchbooks but this is an a4 and he loves drawing he loves painting the paper again is very similar to the previous one 80 sheets 100 grams acid free is that 100 GSM or what is that? It must be. So yeah, the paper is slightly on a kind of thinner side, but I think he will enjoy it. And they're also perforated here, so he can pull out some pages if he sometimes needs them for something else. Then some kind of Easter fun, again for Mason. What did I get for myself so far? Just the dish and the chain and one of these. And that's it. <laughs> 
so there is a shooting animal and there are two pieces in there oh so you can play together that's fun and there's like a chicken that you just stretch out and make it fly so i know he would like something like that and it's quite sort of eastery and then he really loves his bead bracelets he loves making them for friends for himself so i got him this set that he can write words or names in there so you get three different colors the turquoise yellow and orange with a string and bunch of letters i don't want to open it up in case i rip it now this one i haven't decided if it's for myself or for mason it's a tray and it's got strawberries in it i love everything strawberries it's kind of trendy this year i find that strawberries are everywhere and I just like the design of it. It's got little strawberry flowers here and it looks pretty on a pink background. These are great for keeping your brushes in. I think I'll keep it myself actually. I was going to give it to Mason because he likes to pop his Lego bits in here and then just build things. But he's got another couple of trays that are always busy with something. So I think he can use those. This is more kind of girly color palette, I suppose. So I'll keep that for myself. I don't have a tray this size in my studio and I quite often kind of need to put somewhere my tools and brushes and all of that. I don't mind if it gets dirty. Okay, just two more things are left. I can't believe all of this cost me £44. No, actually 49 50 even more. I need to check. I just checked the receipt. Everything is correct. Of course, it all adds up. But what I wanted to say, these storage boxes are one pound fifty each and one of them is one pound fifty and the other one is two pounds i'm not sure which one is which but basically they're the same size and then the bigger one that i showed you that was so this one was only three pounds okay so let's pop this one up so this one is great it's neutral color I think I'll definitely give a couple of them to Mason because he always has these smaller toys that are everywhere so he could at least keep them in one in one spot. All right so that's quite good. So that was a bit of shopping and I hope you found some bits fun and interesting and maybe you want to get some Easter bunny kind of prezzies. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.